Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be talking about parent-child relationships of objects inside of Blender. So right here I have a sword object, and the sword object has a bunch of children to it, uh, which are basically the different parts of this model. So if I go ahead and select each of these parts individually, uh, you'll be able to see them get highlighted down here. So that's the handle. That's the handle bottom or the hilt, whatever it's actually called. And here's my quote unquote sword guard, uh, which is kind of in the middle. Now there's also a blade, um, which is this part up here. Uh, this is actually uh, just being part of the sword itself. So th these uh, data points are basically directly tied to the sword. So they're one and the same. If I select the sword, what I'm really selecting is this cube zero zero one here. So. If you want to actually take parts of your object and uh, or your uh, scene rather and to combine them or add them to a parent and have one parent uh, kind of rule them all, dominate them all, or basically being the main piece, then it's not too hard to do that. So what I'm going to do here is uh, just go ahead in uh, object mode. Uh, hit A to select everything and we're just going to duplicate this sword. So I'm going to hit Control D or Shift D in order to do that. And we'll even make a third sword over here. So you can see in the outliner window that we have three swords in total now. But according to the hierarchy, they're completely separate from each other. There are different objects. They're not part of the same object. And they're not linked together to each other. Um, now this would probably be more useful uh, when you're talking about like combining different parts of a model. Like say uh, a button on a shirt or the head to the overall body of a character. That kind of thing. But if you want to combine them. Uh, there's some ways you can do it. The way I like to do it is to go over here in the outliner window and select the children items. Uh, and you can do more than one at a time, but select the ones that you want to tie into the parent. And then at the end of that selection, go ahead and select the parent sword or the parent object. And then you can hit, I believe it's Alt P on your keyboard or Control P. Uh, Alt-P is to uh, clear the parent, but Control-P to set the parent to the last selected object. So by hitting, uh, selecting the Sword 001 here, and then holding Shift and selecting Sword 002, those are going to be the children to the last selected item, which is the original sword. So if I hit Control-P now, and I hit Set Parent to Object, now Sword, uh, sword 1 and Sword 2 are now children of the original sword. So if I go over here now and I have this sword selected and I move the sword, it's now going to move all of them simultaneously. Likewise, any direction. Uh, I believe if I scale up and down, same thing applies because they're all basically considered part of the same overall object now. And the sword 001 and sword 002 are now just part of an object, a sequence of vertices and faces, but not the object itself. So that can be really useful when you are uh, trying to combine different parts to make a full character that can be moved around together all in one rather than having to move each part individually. So, hey friend Chris, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, uh, consider donating to my Patreon and I'll see you in my future videos.